We are back. Back Nine Films is back up and running. Now, I've been away. I've had a little baby girl, and that is why I have not had the chance to break the news to you. But we're back, we're here, and this is going to be your home of breaking news throughout the golf season. And I said this just before taking some time off. There was never going to be a deal struck before the Masters. We all got told it was going to be before the Masters. Absolutely nothing's happened. But I want to go through a different topic right here. John Ram. And let's discuss this. I've got a big question for you. I'm going to say it. I think he seriously regrets joining Live Golf. Like, if we look at his whole performance, his whole reception during the Masters, it was a little bit timid, it was tepid, uninspiring, and it just didn't seem like John Ram. Now, as we go through this story, I always say this, don't forget to let me know exactly what you think. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree? Are you in the camp that John Ram made the right decision or the wrong decision? I just think you look at it right now, right? And I noticed a few things. His attitude, his performance, he seemed down, he seemed not aggressive, he seemed, I mean in his golf that is, he just seemed like he wasn't up for it. And it begs the question, is it the same argument we've had? Now, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this first point. Because if you think about it, Bryson had a good performance, Brooks Koepka won a major last year, but it's it's, it's starting to make me think, is Live Golf bad for professional golfers' game? And what I mean by that, the competitive side of things, the golf courses they play, the amount of competitiveness within three rounds, the shotgun starts, the team event. Does it lose the selfishness of what the PGA Tour drums into players? You, you, you. Play for yourself, fight for yourself. You're the only person that can make you win. Now, if we have a look at the whole Masters for John Ram, he's a golf sensation, right? No one can actually argue about this. He was a 2023 Masters champion and made the headlines this week as it was his first major after joining Live Golf. So the first of many this year. Rom's comeback was, however, uh, met with mixed anticipation and some controversy. Speaking to the Golf Channel and Latin America, Ram revealed varying receptions he received, saying some did welcome him, talking about fellow players and fans. I expected it, and then there was some that, that, and there was someone else I expected to be a little tougher, and one of them hugged me. On the course, John Ram faced a few challenges, finishing 45th and 9 over par, and actually his worst performance at Augusta National since turning professional, and ever. And this leads me to the next point. I noticed this, and this has been well documented on other news outlets, that the crowds following John Ram were a lot smaller than they used to be. The reception that he got on some of the tees was very mixed. And a lot of people were following the likes of Rory McIlroy, Scotty Scheffler, and ultimately a lot more of the PGA Tour player groups. Now, did you notice that too? And also, I've got a question for you. If you were lucky enough to go to the Masters, did you see what I'm saying? A lot of news outlets are saying the crowds following John Ram's group were no way near as big as they used to be. Now, many observers noted that Ram's difficulties in recapturing his former glory. The three times Masters champion Sir Nick Faldo made a little bit of remark, and he's not been quiet in the past about talking about live golf. He said, Ram's a hell of a player but he's going to have to make a little bit more of an effort to set it up and get in the right intensity. And this comes back to 54 holes and individual slash team golf. And I don't think that argument will ever be settled because right now, PJ Tour players or non-live golfers definitely hold the stronger upper hand in this. Now, the whole golfing world is going to watch Ram closely as he navigates this new chapter in his golf. And Remain high hopes that he will have a good season this year, both on and off live. Well, we can't argue that he's had a good season on live. But for me, the true marker is how he performs in the majors. His point was that he joined Live Golf to concentrate more on the majors, have more family time, and basically secure the future for his family, which I don't think anybody can argue about. But the first hurdle, we've fallen at it. So how he performs now in the next three majors is going to be seriously scrutinized. Next point. Did John Ram leave too early? Did he leave at the height of his powers on the PGA Tour for money? And has this ruined his legacy? 
I mean, he's already come out and said he misses certain events on the PGA Tour that he now can't play. And in my opinion, this, oh, I'm going to say it right now. It could be a really bad decision for his career. I just think the way he was playing last year, the way now people look at him, maybe falling out of favor with certain fans, certain media, certain players. This all has to have an effect on your career. I mean, have a look at Justin Johnson. What's he done since joining Live Golf? Absolutely nothing. And again, another bad performance at the Masters from him. Now, we know with golf, it's never just an upward trajectory, unless you're Scotty Scheffler. And it is peaks and troughs throughout his career. Maybe this just, just coincided with joining to Live Golf? I don't think it has. I really think the intensity, the idea of not playing a lot, the idea of a lot of money in the bank, how on earth can you turn up every single week and perform at your best? I don't believe you can. I believe that intensity will drop and has dropped and has led to maybe his demise here at the Masters. It will be interesting to see how he performs in the rest of the majors this year, and I'm going to be watching them closely. Now, for all the breaking news, as I said earlier in this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel here and turn the bell. That way you always get notified. And I think there's a bit more to be talked about this. I seriously noticed a change in his demeanor out on the golf course in round one, round two, round three, and especially in round four.